If I have time, before the lightning bolts strike. <laughs> I will speak now upon the Saxon traditions of my homeland, Kalantir. For though it is a Welsh place name, it is inhabited strangely by Anglo-Saxon peoples. Our army of feared men and Huskars struggle proudly on the battlefield. Our army is a wondrous thing to behold. But the Saxons of old, who we would represent, held one thing dear most of all. It was said amongst them, only our word fame outlives us all. And I would offer word fame to ladies who have dwelt in Calantir amongst us, but are absent friends now. Some are drawn to glory, the honors of the feast. the royal power. There are those who use their skill to garner great renown. While others look for land and wealth, wherever it may be found. Yet there are greater treasures than power, fame, or gold. Consider well the lily, the heather, and the rose. The Lord, when he was here with us, he held a bloom so fair. These lilies of the field, he said, are clothed beyond compare. Like that sacred blossom, well clothed in beauty she. Likewise, a joy and passion would shine for all to see. Few are they who have the strength to laugh at winter's call. Her courage was the parting gift. Marie would share with all. Some are drawn to glory, the honors of the field. Others seek the tourney and royal power wield. There are those who use their skill to garner great renown, while others look for land and wealth wherever it may be found. Yet there are greater treasures than power, fame, or gold. Consider well the lily, the heather, and the rose. Along the lakeside grow the fields, and fill with purple hue. And always there the heather, like an old friend we all knew. Through summertime would lay and play, Till autumn's chill came on, her ransom men we gladly paid, she died all winter long. Ah, oh, but then it came, she would blossom with the spring, and with the sound of our laughter, she would make the hillsides ring. Some are drawn to glory, the honors of the field. Others seek the tourney and royal power we There are those who use their skill to garner great renown, while others look for land and wealth wherever it may be found. Yet there are greater treasures than power, fame, or gold. Consider well the lily the heather and the rose. As you watch the flowers grow, wonder how they'll fare. From the first we knew we'd found a rose of blossom rare. All through fields of broken tents, all through wind and storm, a princess walked among her folk, her spirit kept them warm. Now when darkness comes again, the Nor is with us still, and walks within our memory as she forever will. Some are drawn to glory, the honors of the field. Others seek the tourney and royal power wield. There are those who use their skill to garner great renown. 
while lovers look for land and wealth, rare it may be found. Yet there are greater treasures than power, fame, or gold. Consider well the lily, the heather, and the rose. How does such a garden grow to offer blossoms fair? Who was first the gardener who kept them in her care? Tending each and every bloom, she'd watch the flowers grow. A patient and a loving heart, as there we come to know. Rosamond would welcome us within her noble hall, and in doing so, she gladly gave the greatest gift of all. So tend ye well the flowers, help each one as they grow. Within them find the lily, the heather, and the lily.